Formula One and the FIA have given us our first glimpse at the sport's future engine rules. They have jointly revealed their outline on the direction that will shape the sport's power units for 2021 and beyond after their latest meeting with engine manufacturers. The 1.6-litre V6 internal combustion engine will stay, as will the energy-harvesting, power-boosting hybrid systems introduced in 2014, but only in the shape of a more powerful MG UK. F1's managing director of motorsport, Ross Braun, says they've listened to both fans and manufacturers in drafting the new vision. The objective was to define a set of regulations which will provide a powertrain that is simpler, cheaper and noisier and will create the conditions to facilitate new manufacturers to enter Formula One as powertrain suppliers and to reach a more leveled field in the sport, says Braun. More discussions with the sport's stakeholders will be held before a more defined set of regulations are drafted. Manufacturer reaction to the new vision for F1 power units has been mixed, with the sport's current engine suppliers guarded over the changes. Both Mercedes and Renault have warned that despite the differences to the current hybrid units looking simple on paper, it will force those marks already on the grid into a complete rethink. And that, warns Renault's Cyril Abitable, will come at great expense. We need to be extremely careful, because each time we come up with a new regulation, that will come up with a new product, says Abitable. We all know the impact. It's going to open an arms race again, and it will open up the field. Mercedes Toto Wolff believes rules that adapt the existing power units is a better option, something the sport may realize after it's too late to change course. F1 needs to stay attractive for the current engine suppliers, and then F1 should be attractive for new entrants, says Wolf. This is the order of priority. Ferrari has suggested it could use its power of veto within the F1 strategy group to block the new rules if it feels they are wrong for the sport, or even quit entirely, while Honda has yet to make any official comment. With the 2017 title now sewn up, Mercedes and Lewis Hamilton's thoughts are now turning to their future together. The now four-time world champion is under contract with the team until the end of next year. Both sides say they will sit down at the negotiating table soon. We already have something in place, and it's really just about extending it and enhancing it, says Hamilton but I'm pretty sure within the next month or so, we will have had time to have sat down. When it happens, the new deal won't be for small change. British media are reporting that he could be poised to earn 120 million pounds over the course of a new three-year contract. That would keep Hamilton in Formula One through to the end of 2021, just prior to his 37th birthday. With most of the other big players signed on beyond 2018, Daniel Ricciardo has emerged as the key to the 2019 driver market. The Australian is signed to Red Bull until the end of next year, but after that, he is a free agent for the first time in his F1 career. Mercedes, Ferrari and even McLaren have been touted as possible suitors, but Red Bull team principal Christian Horner has stated he wishes to keep Ricciardo alongside Max Verstappen for the foreseeable future. So I think the dynamics between the two drivers is great. They're going to push each other incredibly hard, which is great from a team, team perspective. And uh, I couldn't wish for you know, two better, more motivated um, you know, drivers in our cars. Horner says he's willing to wait until the 2018 season begins for the deal to be done, if it means securing Ricardo's services. The United States Grand Prix is hoping a date change can boost its fan turnout but not the date of its own race. The US race's promoter is hoping the Mexican Grand Prix would consider a shift to June, pairing it with the Canadian Grand Prix. The Mexican event has been highly popular since it returned to the calendar in 2015, while the American race is still finding its feet. 
For its part, the Mexican race's chief shut down the possibility of a June switch, citing the country's wet season. But moving Austin to June and pairing it with the Canadian GP would make more sense. TheInsideLine.com for everything Formula One.